Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about how to use join tool in Alteryx. So at your, in my last video there I discussed about uh, how to perform union inside Alteryx. So this is the incoming uh, input to 2 and here this is the incoming input 3. Now let's uh, see about at your joining. So first I am going to remove this all and here first uh, let's drag at your two incoming uh, source. So here you can use uh, file or database. So going to drag uh, two files and here so first uh, add here go to files and uh, going to use csv and csp has uh, uh, dev1 and this is the record inside dev1 now let's uh, select uh, this this part has done now here i'm going to use the files uh, csv and uh, dev2 so here after done this now let's uh, click add here join so add here about the join combine two data stream based on common field so you can uh, combine or merge two data streams only two not more than two so if you want to more than two you should go add here union common fields or record position in joining output each row will contain the data from both input okay so here let's drag uh, join tool and here when i uh, just drag here you can see this all important properties of joining now stabilize the link you can use at here it's left now it's a uh, right and uh, here after you need to uh, join a specific so here first i'm going to show you the values so here in dev2 id name and here it has also id name so id or this values are similar to uh, dev1 and dev2 rd values most similar so here i'm going to use id equal to id now when you drawn this here let's use reporting tool to display the data after performing joining so here you need to drag j and when you uh, run the workflow so here you can see uh, this value so this value it's come from first one 20 helen and here this value it's now 20 helen it's so uh, displaying so why 20 Helen it's uh, displaying because at here in dev1 or uh, 20 Helen percent in dev1 and uh, 20 Helen that percent in dev2 so uh, by uh, doing the joining here id value 20 20 that match and after match that uh, value load into the uh, target and here you can see this uh, matching value that's uh, displaying so here let's uh, remove this part and here you can do the link of left so let's uh, execute now here uh, this value is now 150 150 and 300 it's the uh, displaying so where is the left so dev2 is the left so here 100 3 uh, 100 150 so left value it's uh, displaying when you uh, click on the uh, left now here after if you want to display right values you need to drag the right so this will display right table record so here uh, it's uh, displaying right table record and uh, right table 10 30 50 but uh, uh, when you do the joining so id is match with the uh, id so that 20 is matched with the uh, 20 so that here 
it's a displaying uh, matching value because the condition is true so here condition is true so that it's a displaying matching value like this you can use add here name to so when that two match according to that the value it display so here let's uh, see so here idm name both are match so that here matching value it's a uh, returning now this is about giant specific value you can uncheck this radio button you can check join by record position so record position that i am going to join so here so record position so first at here 120 300 that comes from so that's come from so at here or oh, not this one that's come from 120 350 that's come from dev2 and uh, here 1020 350 that's come from add here dev1 and after performing add here join by record so the value is loaded into the target this values both merging values so this is the important and here this is the left unchained so left table that value that return okay when i use the left so left table and uh, not matching values and here inner join that only return matching values or that return right table values not matching values so this is the image description and uh, you cannot uh, join more than uh, two sources inside uh, joining tool so this is the way we can perform joining in all tricks so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you in next video thank you